Hello, this is Johnny. Uh, I'm recording this first uh, 64 gigabyte uh, from uh, Dynamic Dual uh, Raspberry Pi 4, which is a dual screen. So as you can see, I'm using my 10 inch screen and I put it on top just to see how it would it, would it work. You know, with the marquee work automatically come from this image, and also to test the trackball, the spinner to make sure it all work. Okay, so let me go ahead. This is a first impression of uh, I just burn it and put it into the Raspberry Pi 4. All right, let's look at it. So first we need to set up the controller. So I'm gonna press uh, a button. Okay, up, down, left, right. Star, select, A, B, X, Y, left shoulder, right shoulder, left trigger, right trigger, left thumb, right thumb. And then just hold any button to bypass the rest of it because we don't have another analog stick. It would be nice if somebody create one. Alright, oop, uh, wrong key. Half key should be. Uh, select button. I wonder if I could put it back. Here you go. Just press A button. Okay. Why can I use that one? Normally it's a select button, correct? There you go. I need to press it, not hold it. Sorry. That's why it's not working. All right. Press OK. All right. It looks pretty cool. It's supposed to also come with a track mode. So let's go into it. Right now, it still say Retro Pi. Let's go to RK. Press A. So, so far, the marquee, it haven't changed anything. So let's try the let's go ahead and test the let's go ahead and test the templates with the spinner and then we can see if the marquee will change when we get into the game so we go to the templates test the spinner straight from the box let's see did I miss it? Yep, it's T-E-P. I'm not seeing, oh, here it is, going blind. There you go, templates. All right, so let's press A and start the game and see if Marquee will change. All right, it changed to templates. That is so awesome. You just have to buy the monitor and put it on top and then you have a, your own marquee. That's pretty cool. Alright, so now we're going to see if uh, the spinner... I always get confused between the spinner and trackball. Spinner is for this game. Alright, so select. Start. Yep, the spinner seems to be working. Oh, select, select, select. Okay. Yeah, spinner's working straight from the box. I mean, not straight from the box, but straight from the... Which one is my... Did I accidentally press... One player or two player? Oh, my, my controller is on this side. That's why the shooting doesn't work. Okay, I got the controller plugged in, in uh, not correctly in the back. 
So that's why the button is on this side instead of the first player is on this side. So I need to just switch it from the bottom and the top. But that's pretty cool. Let's turn the value up. Straight from the box, the templates work just great with the spinner. And I used to play with my left hand. get out of the game. All right, let me fix my controller back because I can't play like that with the one hand. Now let's check, let's uh, find centipede and see if uh, if centipede work with the uh, trackball. Now I haven't set up any network or anything yet. Okay, centipede. Let's go ahead. Let's see if change. Change to centipede. So he followed the, the main loading screen. That's how he did the mark here. So whatever is showing up here, I guess, I'll do it one more time. I missed that first screen. But that is real cool. You don't have to buy extra video card or anything. Yeah. There you go. All right, straight from the box, the trackball work as well. For Raspberry Pi. Now you have a good reason to buy a Raspberry Pi 4 now because this thing does work. Ah, you stupid thing. Oh. Uh, dead. <laughs> <coughs> Alright, let's try another one. Let's try a uh, metal piece. I know uh, centipede and metal piece are real popular. So I'm gonna press A. Let's see what screen. Ah, press the one. What I do? What I lost my middle piece. I press the one button. Am I? Try to find another piece. It does have a music background, but it's not very loud. And then we're gonna go back and see how many games per each uh, each game. I'm just excited to see that Marquia was working. So that's why I was testing this out first. All right, so you get this screen. Okay, this screen is always gonna be the same, it's just the title is different. Okay, so that's how he did his. So it's not bad. I mean, it would be nice if he said, just say, metal piece. But he have it like that. It's okay, but it's, I mean, can't complain. <laughs> it's good. All right, let's try this one, see if it's straight from the box. Would it work? Using a trackball. Yes, it does work. So that's pretty awesome, that's beautiful. So the trackball does work with RK1UP, modded. So, and the Marquia screen will work as well. Okay, I'm dying. <laughs> Alright, let's get out, guess. Alright, let's go out and see how many games we have. We have... I don't... Oh, I don't know if this is a track mode or not. 
because I don't see the gameless anywhere. I think this is a track mode. Let's try one of this. Uh, so this is a track mode already. When you uh, burn the image, so it doesn't give you how many games. But let's let's try this game. See if they have any. I, I don't know if it's overclocked or not. Even though it's not overclocked, this game should play good. So you show what you have here. It does have the the correct logo for the atomic atomic wave. So that's good. Now I know the virtual man's uh, this game is very smooth without overclocking. This game is good. So right now it's straight from the box. I don't know if it's overclocked or not. I don't think it is. Okay, it's not doing the full screen for some reason. But the sound is not is good. It's just like a just like a virtual memory. Now for some reason uh roof stands uh, image on this game it has slow down. And I don't know why. The sound have a little bit choppy on this game. And this one it doesn't have whoa said too quick it just frees up yep <laughs> it just rebooted by itself let's try again So we can pass this at this level right here. Yeah, it frees up the same place. It frees up the same place. I don't know what's causing it. So if whoever's Created this. Probably need to. Let me see if we can try a different game. And see if we could make the screen bigger. Let's try Metal Slot. Do they have Metal Slot? Yeah, metal slot six. Let's try this one. Let's see if we could uh, get it to the option screen. Oh, see that? The screen got small. Screen is only, it's 920 by 8. 80 60 but for some reason it's giving me a small screen see well it is it's full blown but on the setup part all backup data was clear okay Seems like Atomic Wave has some issue. Let's see if we could play at least finish this one level. One, two, three. Wow, I got extra character. Uh, extra character on this one.
Whoa. Okay, to slow down now. Yeah, this is messed up. It's real slow. Okay, I wonder if we overclock this will help. So you gonna save it? The save mode, okay. Okay, so it didn't totally stop, but it have a slow down. All right, let's get out of this. My own me, I have no idea how many games here. Let's go to options, see what's going on. Let's see if we are in uh, track mode or not. It said track mode, switch to track mode. Uh, where is the emulator? So that is still in the emulator. Alright, let's try this. Track mode. Switch to track mode. Let's try it. So we are booting up to the track mode right now. So both screens is doing it, same thing. Let's see what it looks like now. Now I'm downloading the 128 gig, so I don't know uh, would be any different. We might try to change the theme. Okay, still booting up. CRT Blast Edition. All right, this is a track mode now. So track mode, you're not gonna get to see what game you have. And there's all the trackball. So that's good, we could test all the trackball later. See what else they have. Sega Classic, NES Classic. So if we click on this, what it, what different does it do? Is my button working? What's going on? Why is my button not working? I got all the button configured. Okay, there's something wrong with this. So my A button is not working. 
So let's use my keyboard since I have keyboard in here. Press enter. All right, it seems like it's, it's set up to keyboard. I'm about to reconfigure this. Okay, my enter is on my keyboard. That is not good. All right, so the Marquia does work with the uh, track more as well. So dynamic duo, the track mode and the standard mode is very similar. The emulation, I mean, emulation station. Okay, is it gonna take the full screen or is it going to be half screen? Would it have basil, black, yeah, basil on the side? No basil. Okay, there's no basil on the game. So maybe that's why the screen's like that. There's no basil yet. On straight from the box. Okay, the buttons seem to work. But uh, the button works, but the enter key is on the keyboard. So I need to fix that later. Okay. Now I can't get out. <laughs> okay, so my escape, my enter key is, is in my keyboard. So let me try to fix that. I just pressed the tab key. So I'm not trying to fix my controller. So my enter and escape is not set up right. So where is my enter? Okay, back is escape. So we need to change that to to B. So action back. We move, we move input. Add an input. Okay, we're gonna add an input. We're gonna use the B button. Okay, so we got B button to get back. Now we need to do the. We need to do the enter key.
Okay, I'm gonna look at the size. Well, here, tab, I need to uh, add so I could go to the, the main screen. So I'm gonna add uh, my last button here. So I could go to you without using the tab button. Okay. And I need to look for one uh, enter key, which is the return key. See which one is the return key. I'm looking at the size, so that way it's easier because I can't, I don't understand the description very well. So here's the return. So I'm going to go to here, return, and press the, the A button. So here, I'm going to add a button called A. Okay. So I add an A button. Alright. Alright, let's go back. And let's press escape I don't have escape set up do I joystick button one is that what I use that for no escape is B okay B so if I press B no that's exits out the track mode So that's not what I want. Oh, that's just exits out. Okay, if I go in, let's just say if I go into this one, I could press B now, correct? Yes, okay, now it's fixed. Alright, so now I have the A and B set up. Now if I want to go to that track more, I just press one of my buttons and I get this one now. So my button is fixed now. Alright. Got a light gun. So this all break down to uh They got four player arcade, that's what it looked like. Let's see what it looks like. So this is a four player arcade. I really don't know how many is in the... Uh... Okay, I'm gonna switch it back to emulator so I can see how many games is total. Because this is not telling me how many game I have. Okay, I'm going back to emulator station. Press A. So track mode does work, it just I, I like the Motion Blue, I wish Motion Blue, uh, the guy who created Motion Blue, David, that he would come back and create the Motion Blue for Raspberry Pi uh, 6 because he have, uh, his is mostly focused on track mode. I love track mode. Virtual Man, I asked him, he said he had no interest in doing it. So, it's sad to say, I mean, he does a very good job on... He does a very good job in emulating Virtual Man, but he doesn't want to add track mode, and he didn't want to do a uh, marquee either. That's pretty cool. By me just putting the monitor right on top, it have a little stand right here. I just put the stand right directly on top, and it stand right there. Pretty awesome. <laughs> I could probably just leave it like that. It's just kind of neat. It's not really a big screen, but. It, it would do the, I mean, it does, it's justice, you know, because I have a big screen and then I have a little screen to tell me what game I'm playing. That's kind of nice. Now to go buy another one. Because they, they do sell this Marquia long one, you know, the, I think it's 19 inches. I mean, or 14, 14.5, I don't remember exactly. And that just, you know, let me see if I could change the theme so I could see. Oh, here I go. Here's the game right here. All right. It's so small I can't see it. Let's see if I can change this so it will look a bit different. Let me go to the option. Okay, let's just go down the list. You got, you have 2,412 game in arcade. You got 28 game for, uh, this one's supposed to be 30. You have 28, which is okay. And 122 for Nami, uh, Ami, Amico, Amico. 
So I'm at Ami Ami. All right, option. We're gonna go to option later. Two player have one thousand nine hundred forty-eight game. Four player have one hundred forty. That sounds pretty right. And then RK had uh, Atari had ninety-nine game. I have no idea what this is. This is nine game. Ooh, I just did the page up, page down. How do I page back down? Let me go back where it was. Okay, this one. Nine game. I want to see what's inside. What is this? Okay, the sound is too low. I don't know what kind of game is this. Now, I have a big night, uh, two. What is this? 20. Now I forgot how many inches is my screen is. But, uh. But this is very small for. Okay, now we're going by we're going by category. We're not going by okay, so we just have RK break down to and then we have this game, this game. So this one is just mainly RK. It doesn't have it's just RK. I don't see no home console. Got SNK Scum. Don't know what this is. Sega Classic, but this is all RK. I don't think it's yeah, this is all Sega, Sega game with all arcade. It's not the Sega Genesis. So the 64 gig game is all arcade. Oh, that's interesting. Let's check this one out. This is arcade game too. No, it's a Nintendo classic. Yeah, this is all the... Donkey Kong, yeah, this is the arcade version of it. Yes, my cat's mailing at me. Yeah, this is a Nintendo arcade version. That's pretty cool. How many did he have? 82 game of Nintendo. Most of this will not work on the Neo Geo arcade stick pro. That's a real long name. Okay? And then we got tired of typing the name so long, we put ASP. So those of you who doesn't know what ASP stand for is Neo Geo Pro. Okay, uh, I got to a point where I'm not going to take no more requests on what game you want. I'm just going to go and, and uh, create a 500 game list. I'm going to do my best see if I could come up with 500 games with artwork, with description. And I'll go ahead and release the 500 top game. Okay, the top game that I did research on, I'm going to create that. So that way it will cover everybody for for the Neo Geo Pro. And then I will go back and try to fix the Capcom's game. Then after that, I'm just going to retire <laughs> from the Neo Geo ASP. And then I'll probably have to go back to the Neo Geo Mini because somebody told me there's a USB hack is out there now. So you could add Neo Geo game. Okay, so that's my game plan on what I'm going to do. I'm going to do another one for the 128 game, but this one looks like it's just playing arcade game. Nothing but arcade. So let's go to the arcade and see. Now this is just arcade game that break down into different categories. Let's go see. So this image have 2,412 game. That's a lot. Okay. That is more than Virtual Man. I think Virtual Man only have 2,000... 45 or something just a little bit extra this is 2412 game okay so let's see if we could change the the theme and I think the theme just press the start button sorry so UI setting let's see if we could change the theme let's press enter so you just have like I forgot which one we are on. Alright. So this look, look a little bit different. So the, the game set is over here. That's pretty cute. That's pretty cute. And let's see what it looks like when we go in. 
Okay, this is what it looks like. The font is a little bit different. You got an uh, arcade. I like that. I might be able to use that. Take a picture of it. That's pretty cool. I could use that for the Neo Geo Pro. <laughs> so, so if I go to Ninja Turtle, let's see what Ninja Turtle looks like. Everybody loves Ninja Turtle. Okay, so if we play Ninja Turtle game here. I wonder if Ninja Turtle will have any problem of slow down. So how many players? This is a four player, so you don't want to pick four player because four player you cannot choose. This still say four player. There's a two player. Alright, this one say Ninja Turtle two player over here. But here say four player. We, we are, it's two, you can play four player. Okay, let's try. Let's try that one on top. Oh, no, no. See, these two, I don't know which one is which. They both have the same title. And one of them you cannot choose. choose uh, okay, let's try the first one on top. Instead of just trying to figure it out, let's try it. All right, it say uh, Ninja Turtle in time. So let's see what kind. Okay, the, when you press A button, it does work. He didn't lock it up like Virtual Man did. did. He locked it up the screen. So you could change a different emulator, right? but you don't like that the one is there. Alright, is this gonna have mock Basil? I don't think it have Basil. It just have, yeah, it doesn't have Basil. You could add Basil to it, but it doesn't have any. Okay, this is the one you can't change. All right, so I'm gonna get out this one. And I'm gonna rename the other one so I can understand what this one is. This one doesn't say two player. So I'm gonna press edit the game data. And I'm going to change the name. I'm gonna press enter again. Now, and uh, here I'm gonna put a uh, two player. So I know this is a two player. Two player mean that you could, you don't need to have four player to play this. Okay, so I'm gonna save that. Okay, press uh, enter A again. B, press B, sorry. Then you come here and do A. All right, so now the name is changed to uh, two player. So press, ooh, save it, yes. Press B. So here now we'll say two player, see that? Ninja Turtle two player. So that way if I press A, this one will allow me to change, because they both have same title, so you don't know which one. Unless you have four joystick, you don't want to choose four player. Four player is just for people who have four player joystick. Okay, I'm gonna change the screen because I, I'm gonna to go to Ret retro pie, and retro alt to change the screen because this is a fixed screen. It, do it doesn't change. Okay, see now I could choose different one. Choose Raphael. So it shows Ninja Turtle. Wonder you have an option where you show all game because all games show how many game total is here. Because this all break up into uh, different category based on arcade game. So 
the arcade would be pretty much uh, all game stuff okay so if I want to change it to a since it doesn't have a Marquia I mean not the Marquia the the basil I want to change the arcade option to where I could here's basil project I guess you can install it okay and then you could go to retro retro art what I want to do is I want it to automatic go by the game you know the game uh, thing the court not based on the fixed screen so if I change that one will it will do anything to this this upper screen so I'll do video and I want the video to set no this is not well this is not what I want this look like an old version of it yeah okay it's correct it go by the core so whatever the size of the game is that's how it is set up so that's fine and then this is a scale so that is correct based on the game set for some reason it's not giving me the full screen of my on my monitor all right so there's nothing I could nothing to change oh, it's quick all right that's pretty much it on this uh, game set I didn't set up the the uh, the the network because uh, that's not the main thing I'm here here I'm just trying to make sure everything does work here but yeah you could pop I'm gonna play with that later on but I'm gonna jump into the 128 uh, gigabyte to see how much more game different game is out there because right now this is mainly all arcade game okay which is nice I like this too I like that it's real pretty okay let me try some arcade game I think we already tried centipede. Yeah, let's try this one. This one also use uh, the the trackball. Crystal Castle? Yeah, Crystal Castle. Let's see how well the trackball go. Uh, how would I do that? So that screen is really based on this screen, I think. Yeah, this thing needs a basil it, because the screen is just plain black. Yeah. All right, try for work. All right, thank you for watching. That's pretty much it. I'm just testing this out. I really like the idea with they have Marquia, and I guess we could take we take this one and go further with it. This one have a different uh, theme. Let's try a different one again. Ah, uh, one one. First step. Let's try this one. Okay, we did the CRT. Let's do the CRT blaster plus B B B. Then we go back up on the other one. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, this is the first one that we have, and the uh, number count is over here. So no, this one is different than uh, than the one we did. Let's try one of this game. So he does have he does have uh he does have uh RK and Naomi and Atomic Wave. So those are the three 
main one that he have. Okay, so those are the three because Naomi is not part of RK. Naomi and Atomic Wave is not part of. I mean, it's RK, but it have to use its own different emulator, different chords. They call this chord, not emulator. And same with this one. So yes, there's three different one here. So I apologize when I told you, but they are all RK game. I mean, but this is a different. A different emulator. Let's try one of this since we haven't tried one. I want to try Dead or Alive. Did I have Dead or Alive? I mean, they have a Dead or Alive lady. But did I have Dead or Alive? I mean, a D. This one doesn't have emulator. No emulation. No. This one doesn't have either. So there's some problem with this one. Some of this game don't have any. I don't know if those even play. Back up, see if we had that alive somewhere. Let's try this one. Okay, so it say Naomi, but it doesn't give you what game is playing. It doesn't tell you. So I did I guess that's the default if it doesn't know what game you you select. Hmm. This game is not acceptable. gonna work doesn't look like it's gonna work maybe that's why it doesn't have oh this one this one work okay this one recognized it so it gave you the title which is Capcom SNK Pro The other one, I guess it doesn't know, so the game did not load. So I imagine not all the games been tested by the person who put this image out. Because I see some, uh, some game doesn't work, some game doesn't have emulation, so... But at least... At least it... I mean, it's not easy to create image. I mean, this take maybe months, months just to create this and then then plus testing it if you have like thousand two thousand game how can you test two thousand game unless you spend another month just testing it so yeah I, I do appreciate the hard work this person put in Why did I get green? I want red.
Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm gonna quit before I die. All right, so that's pretty cool. We got to try one of each on each uh, system. All right, thank you for watching. So this is what the game looked like. Oh, let me just go through it, just in case you wanted to know. Two player, 1,948. Four player, 140. 99 game on Atari Classic. Nine on this one. Ben Presto. I don't know if I pronounced that. 28. Capcom Classic 108. 10, Cave. Oh, that's why somebody mentioned to me. He wanted to play Cave. There's only 10 games here. So I guess Cave have all the shooting games. Somebody asked me to add this to the Neo Geo, Neo Geo Pro Stick. So I guess I could get it from here. There's 10 game here. Oh, this, this is the one that I tested that worked. But the second one, the part two one, it didn't work for me. I don't know which one. They're both kind of different names. This one and this one is different. Okay, I got this one working in RK Pro Stick. But I didn't know this other two. I guess I could bring it over and test it. Let's try it. So it does have a name on it. I guess they manually type it because it's unique. Uh, Title and then it's not like you got it from uh, Google search. You got the May RK and RK Classic RK and May. Yeah, this one you gotta wait till this thing finished before you can press stop button. I think I do have this one because I was testing the it today yesterday night yeah I do have this one I got this one working on the RK Pro Stick Neo Geo RK Pro Stick yeah I got this one hey my joystick doesn't work This one joystick doesn't work. Button work. Why is my joystick doesn't work? This is not good. using
Okay, that game joystick did not work. Let's try a different one. Oh, I got the game uh, Cobalt working on the arcade pro stick with the joystick. First, it, was, it doesn't work because uh, it was using trackball. The game played as a trackball, but I found the one that you play on joystick and work. The Cobalt for the Neo Geo Pro Stick. Okay, I don't have this game. I haven't. I don't have this on the Neo Geo Pro. Yeah, the, the joystick button is not working. That's messed up. All right, I'm gonna go look into it and see if I can fix some of this. But yeah, the joy, some of the joysticks. So it does have some something uh, trackball spinner work, but some of the game joystick does not work. So I don't know why this have this problem. I don't think Capcom. I I don't. Well, Capcom doesn't have that problem because what it test the Neo Neo Geo game. Well, we didn't test the Neo, we test the my Auto Adam Adam Wave and that worked fine. Now let's test one let's test this arcade Capcom game. See if it worked. 1941 with a joystick. So if a joystick works, that means that it might be the ROM. Yeah, the joystick's not set up. So I need to reset the whole doggone joystick, remap it. The, the joystick is messed up. I need to go to the option and reset the joystick. Yeah, the joystick is it's not, it's messed up on the arcade game. So we gotta go and we set this. All right, I put this on a separate video on how to fix some of this stuff because the video is getting too long. Mainly I just want to demo, demo this and the trackball and the spinner, those work. But you have to reset the controller to make sure everything works because it's mapped to keyboard apparently. Because as you can see, uh, some of the option track mode, I have to fix two things to get the, the thing working. Looks sound like it's gonna rain. And then Basil is not configured installed yet. So let me see if I could fix that. So once I get everything fixed, I'll do another video. So that way you don't have to look at me trying to figure it out because I don't remember everything. I, I don't do this all the time. I just get it working and then I don't touch this setup for a long time. So I don't remember everything anymore. You know, it's because I, 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 I like to do different things and try different things on different console. And so I haven't touched Raspberry Pi for almost like two years. So a lot of stuff that I used to know, I don't remember. So let me look into that and then I will I'll get back to you with the video so you don't have to watch me trying to figure it out. Okay? Alright, later man.